Hi, Gemini. Welcome to your weekly reading for August 21st through the 27th. I'm going to be taking a look at the person on your mind and the connection between you two. I'm going to look at how you both feel about each other, what actions you plan on taking towards each other, as well as what you've learned about each other so far. I will also look at the outcome at the end and I will be pulling an Oracle message from Whispers of Healing Oracle deck to give us some more insight, guidance, and clarification on your situation. So this is general. It may not resonate for everyone. If it does, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel so you never miss an upcoming read. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and jump in. Please remember time is fluid, so this could be something that happened in your past currently in your present or coming up in your future. So show me how Gemini feels about the person on their mind. How's this person feel about Gemini? Ooh. All right. Show me the actions that Gemini is going to take towards them. The actions they'll take towards Gemini. Whoa. Okay. 50 50 energy but we're gonna put it right here because they are thinking about it and show me what gemini has learned about this person what have they learned about gemini oh okay <laughs> all right so the overall energy between the two of you i'm going to put this up right actually i'm going to put it in reverse because that's really how it it feels coming out of what they've learned about you. Um, and the overall energy to your reading is going to be the five of wands right here. So there was an argument, there was um, a disagreement, competition as well, um, fighting for this person's attention. There might've been other competition, other people involved. So how you feel about this person is the seven of swords. You don't trust them, so you don't wanna talk to them. How they feel about you with the two of swords is that they're avoiding talking to you because they know that they were caught in a lie or that they will be caught in a lie. So the actions you plan on taking towards this person is none, but you are in your head about should I talk to them? Should I even, you know, bring anything up? The actions that they're going to take towards you is they are definitely thinking about communicating with you, um, but they're feeling more stuck in their mind and not doing anything about it. What you've learned about this person is that they're young with this page of wands that comes out. Okay. And they have the three of wands in reverse. So you learn that this person is young, you know, it was going to be a short lived situation and that you don't see any progression with them. You don't see this going anywhere. And what they learned about you is that, you know, that like they can't move forward. They don't see, um, a future and it's because they want to, you know, basically what you, you learned about them. They feel that, um, they can't give you what you're looking for and they don't have time to wait. Like they don't want to wait. They want to enjoy, um, having fun and living a free life. So let's go ahead and connect the energies between the two of you. We're going to start with the seven of swords and the two of swords. So let's clarify that. So this person, you don't trust them. They lied to you, stole from you, cheated you. And um, the four of cups comes out for you, the strength for them. What's at the bottom of the deck here? The tower. Yeah, I feel like it does upset you because of the fact that, you know, this person's a liar. That's how you feel about it. You can't trust this person. You don't want to talk to them and you're not interested. You feel very confident and strong with, no, I don't want to talk to them. I'm good. I'd rather not because talking with this person or engaging with them brings up some really hurt feelings here. However, in your action, you're still stuck in your head about, oh, if they're going to reach out to you or if they, if, or when they do what you're going to say. So the tower coming out, like this person caused chaos, you know, you feel like it's just chaotic between the two of you and you don't want this. And this person lost their opportunity and that's on them. So how they feel about you is they're avoiding talking to you because they feel that, um, it's a challenge here and one where they're going to lose or you're going to say something about 
them that's going to make them feel rejected but also the fact that they would have to face you knowing that um, they've been caught in a lie and so they do they want to avoid the drama now let's go ahead and move on to the actions you plan on taking towards each other so let's clarify that eight of swords and the two of wands um yeah maybe you are stuck in your head but i do see you coming out of this so where you're stuck in your head about is this person going to you know make a move and talk to me or try and fix this or when they try to what am i going to say you get yourself out of that and it does look like you end up taking your power back and allow yourself to heal and starting to make a plan for yourself that's bringing you to a lot of blessings with this wheel of fortune here now for them the actions they plan on taking towards you where they want to talk to you it's more so of a wish fulfillment and what they're manifesting because they're stuck in their mind and they're stuck and they don't know how to say anything to you plus they're like how how am i going to get gemini's attention um it they're going to be stuck in their mind about wanting to talk to you about wanting to um, take some kind of action and communicate to you for some time it's not going to be like oh they turn on and off a light switch like, oh, I'm over Gemini. They're going to be in this for some time. They also realize that, um, I don't know if they actually, I don't know that they realize it because they're so stuck in their head, but they are receiving the karma from this because of the way things went down between the two of you. So let's go ahead and look at or clarify um, what you've learned about them and what they've learned about you. Okay. So for you, you have the tower and they have the chariot, okay? So what you've learned about this person is they're very young, it was short-lived, it was fun while it lasted, but then it all blew up and that you're moving on, you're not waiting on this person, you don't see any progress, your direction has changed, your course. I get that um, you also had plans like, I really want to make this person part of my life. I want to include this person in my life and I see us going places, I see us doing things, I see you know, something happening in this situation, but because of what went down and what conspired between the two of you, that has changed. And so you've learned that there's, you know, this person's so young and they messed it up and it showed you their true colors and you're not waiting on them and that you've wasted your progress waiting on this person. Like you've wasted time. So what they've learned about you is like, uh, that it's not going to work out and you were quick to get upset with them and they just don't know how to fix it or if they should fix it and the knight of cups at the bottom of the deck they definitely i see you moving in a direction towards new love uh new aspirations you know things that you love just living your life the best that you can and things working out for you this person has an apology for you but they just can't seem to get it to the surface so the outcome between the two of you let's go ahead and look at that This person realizes that you're important to them and they want to reconcile because they're heartbroken, but um, I don't see you doing it. They will come back around. They will try to reconcile because they're brokenhearted, but remember um, why it is that you left this situation. It still seems like with this devil right here that it is a toxic situation. It's, it's not going to work itself out between the two of you. Um, and people do realize what they lost after the fact. So I also see you meeting new people even through your heartbreak here, but there is somebody as you are moving forward that is going to be more about temptation and instant gratification than a long-term commitment, just to let you know. So be careful of that. Okay, so let's go ahead and get some messages for you. What do you want Gemini to know? about their reading.
All right, so the first thing that comes out is unconditional love. This is something that you definitely deserve. It does start with you. And we have receive healing um, that comes out as the second one. I like how in these cards, there's a lot of rainbows, which signifies blessings, miracles, things that you don't, you don't see rainbows all the time. So when you are given um, this unconditional love is going to be like it helps you heal or receive healing from, you know, it looks like your spirit guides, God, allow yourself to heal like you're wanting to do. So those blessings of unconditional love can pour into your life. And like I said, that unconditional love does start with you, Gemini, as well. So this is what I have for you. If it resonates, go ahead and hit that like button. I will see you in your next reading coming up. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.